guys, thanks for joining us. So today I'm going to be watercoloring and I'm coming up with a character design of my character's sister, if that makes sense. <laughs> my dad's here behind the camera and it's gonna be fun. Okay, let's get started. Woo! So I'm drawing um, my, it's a character that I have and I'm coming up with her sister's character design and so I have a few ideas but I'm not like quite sure on what I want her to look like but I have a few ideas <laughs> that's about all okay so why are you using red because I like using um, a watercolor pencil when I do watercoloring because um, it just makes it all nice and it flows easier and then I like the pink because when you go over the skin tones um, it just adds like a nice blush effect and I like pink okay I don't know too much about that really This is the body, and now I have to figure out what type of clothing and hairstyle I want them to have. I know the color hair, but I don't know what type of hairstyle I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do a few like little head sketches. See if I can figure out what I want to do with this. I already have quite a few characters that have bangs, but I'm, I don't think I'll do bangs. I could do like long, like curly hair, maybe. So, oh no, oh no, oh no. Dang it, let's grab my arm. Oh no. Oh Let's maybe give her Like curly. <laughs> curly hair? Yeah, I don't I like know it. This is. Just one hairstyle we could go with. Um, probably not though. Please don't have graphite on you. You might only get a big set. Okay. I'll give her a little hair flow. Maybe she can have like edgy emo hair flow. And then it can like be short and scrangly. Ta da! Let's do another one, I think. Maybe I will give this one bangs, just cause like, bangs really look nice and she has like more of a preppy personality. And because like you have to keep in with the family dynamic and like jeans, and like what all the family members look like, curly hair wouldn't really fit with everybody. And she's more of like a preppy type character. Um, so I do feel like bangs would be very preppy and cute. So I don't know though. Um, I'm trying to think. Let's see. Let's give her like this bit. I want her to have like half and half colored hairs. <laughs> yes, they have multiple. <laughs> okay. Um, so like one side is one color and... Yeah, it's brown and blonde. Cause, so the family has more like blondish hair. Because um, that's what her sister has. And I, I don't have any of the other family members made. But... Okay. So this is basically the first one. But I knew that like her and her sister would have a strong 
bond, so I knew I wanted to do that. Um, I don't know what to do. Let's see, because the bangs just aren't looking right. My bangs look funky always, so I connected it to. No, I don't like bangs. What if for this one, I did, um, what's it called? Just his. A little too poofy. But like we get what we say in. <sighs> I can't. Beautiful. Nice. But not really. <laughs> hmm. What type of hairstyle should I give her? I don't know. Cause I know her sister has long her sister has short hair that's in like two little ponytails and it's just kind of like wavy and like goes around her face and then uh, ponytail loopy thingies but then I feel like just like a short bob with like maybe half up half down would look cute but then would but then they could both have short hair or I could just change it up and have short hair and long hair short hair and long hair so like the sister that I'm designing could have long hair and then she already has short hair or do I just do like short hair, short hair? Short hair, long hair. Yeah. Should I do that? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, let me... Maybe I can give her one of these type of bangs. <laughs> these type of bangs. That, that actually looks kind of cute. That looks cute. <laughs> I don't know what I do with Oh no. I just need to stop trying to erase anything. Because my eraser doesn't work with watercolor pencils. I don't think any erasers work with watercolor pencils. Let me give her little spots in her hair that have just, just, it's, it's just hair. That's all I can say. Well, there's her hair. Cool. Nice. Figured that out. Now, let's go in with her outfit. I know she's preppy and preppy. So what if we gave her like a collared shirt maybe? That may look cute. Let's give her a body structure. There are her ugly arms because I can't draw arms. And then, and then so let's give her a collar. We'll go in from the point. Um, up. No. How do how do you draw? Okay, it's a poofy collar. That's all good. That's that's cute. That's cute, right? <laughs> let's give her a short sleeve collared shirt. And I don't think she has a shoulder here anymore. That's awesome. And then let's give her like, don't know what outfit I'm doing. Comment <laughs> the truth if this heavy or duty one will work. Oh, that works. 
that up. So what if this gives us some pants? That'd be a good idea. <laughs> Always a good idea to wear pants. Yeah. She's not the rebellious type, she's the peppy type, so we may give her some pants. Undecided. Um, let's give her some tall socks. Because, I mean, tall socks. Whoa, there we go. We'll add some wrinkles, even though I don't know the pants to add wrinkles. And I mean, let's. We have to give her a face. If she doesn't have a face, she's scary. <laughs> uh, I don't know what a faceless human looks like. Oh, no, yeah, I do. I draw a lot of them. Because <laughs> I don't finish any of my drawing. Come up and around. Let's see if we can get a signature collide. <laughs> hey, Daddy, do you have any more questions? I don't know what to talk about. What would you call this style? Chibi anime. Okay. Chibi anime, probably. Because um, I watch too much anime, I end up drawing anime. And then it turns up looking like anime. And then I actually can't draw anything semi realistic, so it's chibi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that makes the most sense, but that's what it is. There she is. Cool. So I have to figure out colors. And how she parts her hair. There we go. Okay, so the sister of this character, okay, the other sister, because they're both sisters, so she's called the other sister, has, her color scheme is more of like a, a yellow-orange, I'd say, very cool tones. I'm thinking of giving this one cool tones as well, just to keep it matchy-matchy, but also some warm tones, so she's not like full cool tones. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does. So I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm going to spray me watercolor and get them all juicy wet. Juicy? <laughs> they juicy. Juicy? Yeah. And I think I'm going to go in with her hair first. I need to mix like a blonde color because I do know that she has blonde hair which is her natural color hair and then she has half dyed brown I believe unless it's just natural from like her father's mother's side I don't know which one will have brown or if it's they all have brown yeah I don't know my mom always calls me out about how I mix so little but like it works because like that's all I need though it would be nice to actually start mixing some more colors for later because then I'll have like hey oh I know that this is my main blonde color, but my brushes don't pick up that much pigment, so I can't do that very easily. I have to like do this and dot it all around. I don't have to drag it all together and mixy mixy. As you can see, it's always very yellow, and I draw my other character a lot, and so my white has a big dent in it. An interesting way to mix. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone says that. Where, where did you uh, learn how to do that? I don't know. Okay, self taught, okay? Uh, I'm self taught ever. <laughs> I can't right. ever get enough white though. Like, do I have another yellow mix? No, I don't. Could I use it all? Mm -hmm. So now. And apply it. <laughs> to apply the color. 
I'm not a hairdresser, I promise. Um, that's too much water. That's scary when that happens. Okay. Now it's not yellow enough. I'm joking, it basically is. You can see it on the paper. Okay, it's mixed up. Just had a water. It's a little bit more yellowy, and I kind of like that. how light it looks against a lot of the times with my characters I leave their skin tone white like completely white and then they have like heavy blush because I'm always too afraid to like find an actual skin tone for them and then have to keep remixing that skin tone and finding the skin tone I just don't do that I'm scared because leaving it white is just a lot easier Yeah, I do that most of the time. Now I have to mix up a brown. I think this is where I'm going to implement more of a cooler. Well, brown has like a cooler tone most of the time. I have a lot of brown. I'll add a little bit of white. So you can never go around with white. Just lighten it up a little bit. And then... I think, what other color? Oh, I was going to go in with, I don't know, just a tiny, tiny drop of blue. And then help me get this white out of my blue container. My professional. So then I just picked up red. That's really fun. I love that. Um, I do kind of want this to be like a really, really darker brown. So I'm gonna get some water, it's too much water. And now, ooh, so much. Bam! Now I, this is a new brush that I got in a subscription box, and that's why I'm using it. That's, I normally would use these, I don't know, can't get it, crappier, cheaper brushes. But this one's really nice, it's really cool. And it's white, well. And it's not white anymore, but it was. <laughs> you like my commentary? Mm -hmm. Please help me. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Ask me questions. Be like, <clears throat> how do you uh, paint with watercolors? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's kind of hard because I used to like try and do it all the time. But my brush strokes would go out of the lines where I wanted them to go, mm -hmm. like so often. But the more I did it, just it got a little bit easier to keep my brush strokes in. So I'd use like flat brushes because I could get the edge nice and crisp. But then like as I started going my style a little bit more and like, what's it called? Arting. <laughs> it just like, it got easier and then... I realized that my style was a little bit more like messy and blotchy and so it's okay if it goes out of the lines a little bit more because that's more like my style like as you can see it's like weird frayed edges because watercolor is weird it's it's water <laughs> you can't control it okay but, interesting yeah but that's what makes the look right yeah it is because then you go over either line on it with pencil which looks very soft and cute <laughs> or you just like like use a pen which is more stressful somehow so okay. I think I'm going I should I leave, I don't know if I should leave her shirt white or if I should make it a color because if it's white you'll obviously just see all the pink lines and scribbles and then if it's a color it would give more personality but then make, like, it's make it a color but then would I leave any white in her design besides like this stripe on the sock and her skin? I mean her pants could be white, she could have white um, shorts. Yeah. Maybe I'll give her 
a green shirt. That would look really pretty with her hair. Yeah, this nib's not white anymore. Green, woohoo. I'm gonna leave her color white still though. Oh, maybe I should have left like this leaves like because it'd be good. No, it's weird. It's not weird, I've done that before. No, green looks good. Yeah. You have to do it like pretty quickly. And I think that's why I got like super stressed when I was like first like doing watercolor because um I don't know. <laughs> It's just because like I felt like I you always had to do it flat fast because you can see like all the blotchiness right now, mm -hmm. but then if you just go over it with a little more water and color water color, it evens itself out, or you just do multiple layers, and a lot of people will probably like watch this. Well, actually, probably not a lot of people, but if any people like watch this and they're also fellow artists and do more watercolor than I do. They'll be like, yo, you're ruining your brushes. And what I say to that is I don't care <laughs> because I can't watercolor any other way to get the color down on the paper. And like, I can't. I just, I just, my, it doesn't work that way for me. Ah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Dabby dab. Clean, clean. <laughs> help me, help me. I like it. It's just a darker area of the shirt. Ha! It lifted the pigment. I can also like, lift the pigment over here. No, I can't. Never mind. I dipped into that when I meant to dip into this lighter green. Yeah. See, really blotchy colors, but it still looks nice. What's your next color? Um, probably gonna be like a really light, light, light gray for the pants. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it! So we need a gray, like a light, a light gray. I'm gonna give the gray a cool tone, I think, by mixing a tiny, tiny bit of like a dark blue. See, like you that. always, are you supposed to drag your color over there? What do you mean? Into the pan or over into here? the tray, or can you just dip it and go straight? In here and then mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. Well, because if I put it on here, I'd have to mix it while it's on, and like that would work for like gouache. And stuff but not for watercolor because then the pigments there by the time I like pick up my next color to dry and it won't like mix fully okay. and so if you mix it here on the pan you can just continue dipping and filling in the area that you need and use the color for a different area later okay if you want to do that though so I think I'm gonna do bam and then a little little white and then you mix it all together it's so loud when I click it. And normally I'm like watching an anime while I do it, and so it's not as loud and distracting. But when you're like filming something or something or something, it's like, is this camera going to pick up every clinging noise? Oh, my pillow's gone. Wait, no, Dad, I thought you were peeking. I have it. Let me go. It's my drawing pillow, okay? I don't know. And I'm too fast. I'm impatient, so I fling my paintbrush over to the spot I'm painting, and then water splotchy colors go everywhere. Every day. It just adds character to the painting. It does. It does. Yeah. So I'm just going to color all of her pants in uh, really lightly, just like this light gray, because I feel like it, it almost like has a green tone to it for some reason, and I put a blue in with it, but like it's okay, it still looks cool. Um, 
so that's that. And then if I wanted to, I'd go over certain areas a little darker. Um, with my eye cell, I don't add any shading whatsoever unless I do like under the neck and that's pretty much all the shading I do because <laughs> um, shading's hard and I don't take the time to do it so what else are you going to do? Um, I have to color the socks in some color I don't know what color I'm going to color them in with but I need to color her eyes in oh green as well actually because She's just gonna have the same eye color as her sister, which is right here. So, um, it's a color I've already mixed and it's in my messy palette. But you don't really see the color I'm putting down because I have a habit of coloring in eyeballs with the pencil color I'm using. And so I don't, like, you don't notice that there's a color there. But that's okay. You can see it, it's kind of like a tint. Yeah. And so then, um, I'll probably go over with like a marker to add a little bit of, like, just a little bit of detail. But for now, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need this reddish color, because of blush. So like, boop. It's a little much, but that's okay. Bam! <laughs> it's gone! one way to do it. it it is it just lightens it up a little bit and you can still see it underneath and then place more now I'll probably put just a little bit under the neck and then any other spots that I, I feel like would have a little bit of a tint and blush to it so probably there if my characters weren't wearing socks with their shorts or if they just like weren't wearing shorts like, <laughs> they're wearing, like, jeans, you wouldn't see the blush, like, you wouldn't really with the socks. But if you, like, look at it, the knee's right there. But I'm just going to add, like, a little dot up here, which you won't notice, really. Okay, but, like, blush on elbows, knees, under the neck, um, face, elbows, I don't know, just blushies, because blush is cute. And it's chibi. Sounds good. Yeah. And so, should I color her pants in another color? Like, not another color, but should I color it in like a dark green, her socks? Or should I do it like another, just like a black? What about a blue? A blue? Like a blacky blue? Like a dark blue? Sure. Um, let's take this dark blue. I'm going to take the dark blue, I'm also going to take a little bit of this purple, this is like a bluey purple, and I like it a lot. I just, I feel like a lot of people would like watch me and be like, wait, why are you mixing that color and that color? Like, it won't make a difference, and it probably doesn't make a difference, but feels like it makes a difference. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of the times I draw, I don't actually have a lot of OCs, and like, a lot of people have like, a lot, a lot of OCs, and then like, I'm here like, wanting to create OCs, but like, when I do sit down to create an OC, I like, like, I attempt, and like, I draw like a head, and I'm like, hey, this head looks like Remy, and I'm too lazy, to erase it, Remy's the sister of this character, and so I just end up drawing her, and I draw her and my friend and my two friends OCs, because they're kind of they're all friends in the story. Anyways, um, this is too light. Can I like? No, I don't know. I think it looks fine. Yeah, like I like when my art is like blotchy. It's sometimes a little too blotchy. Kind of sad. Anyway. <laughs>
so that's pretty much it for probably the watercolor portion of it. I'm looking over it, making sure it looks good. It does. Oh, oh my god. Great. So then I just scoochie. Goodbye. Oh, will this fit anymore? It's probably all frayed and gross. Aha. It's blue now. I'm gonna move all this stuff. Don't need these anymore. And now I'm going to whip open my massive um, pencil case that's bulging at the seams. And I'm going to get some markers and add a little bit of more details um, over everything. These are just Crayola markers. They're very cheap. I am 12 and I'm an artist, so I am very cheap. <laughs> but they work and I really like doing stuff with them. So probably I just did like little blushy bits. He has like one of my skin tones. Just add a little bit. So you can tell I really focus on the blush because it's a bit chibi. I'm gonna. Probably line it with like a softer brown, maybe, and then um, maybe add some details. There's a detail. I'm just gonna add like. What details are you looking for? Um, bolder colors that I'll just like add a little oomph almost, and then like. A little bit of shading, but the shading is really just going over lines I've already drawn. Just in a darker color, so like you can kind of tell it's like a little like folded over because it's like a baggier thing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, see the pants are gray, so maybe I'll take this gray and do. Where would you put the seam lines? Up here? Seam lines. This is definitely a cooler gray. I would rather it be. Much more of a warmer gray. Right now, yeah, I'm speaking correctly. I'm actually gonna color in these shorts. The like uh, little details. Make it look nice. Which makes a few little spots a little bolder. It's a little too bright. <laughs> and then looking, 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 looking. Um, which color would look the best as a line art? Definitely not that weird green brown. Okay. Not that either. Those two. No. Then I just have to like find either a good liner or just stick with like black. So black it is this time. Um, question is which black pen do you want to use? Because <laughs> I have too many. Okay. And then my liner is also like very sketchy. And it's just because I've always been like really scared to do line art because line art's always something in the artness that has always been like it's a very precise part of it and so many people like hold their breath while doing it and everything. And that just stresses me out too much. So I do really sketchy line art but it still looks like line art and certain parts I'll do better because I can't draw that like circle or square sketchy well I can draw squares sketchy that's sketchy that's the only way I can draw squares but certain parts are more sketchier than others and here I really went ham on the sketchiness because they kind of have fizzier hair so it, it's fizzy it's frizzle where are we going next <laughs> Maybe here I'll add another line to make it more sketchy. I have to stop turning it. That's how I draw hands, folks. <laughs> there you go, taking my art lessons. Hands. Cool, looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Now we draw the leg. And another part of the leg. 
And now we draw the other leg and the other part of that leg. And we draw the socks. I'm always like giving like my socks like a border at the top that's just white. Um, mainly because they're normally like black and then like a white border on the top. That's why I always just do that. Um, I like to draw seams all the times on certain clothing. I think it's just kind of like, even just like adding lines of like stitches. It just adds a little bit more character to the art almost. And then make it look nice. And hatching is probably my favorite lining art style of like shading. I do kind of regret some things in this piece, and it really sucks because like I really liked um, how the shorts were so light and then the black, like the darker gray pockets and stuff. I don't really like that, but like I can't, I don't have an undo button like you do you on digital art. You don't like it? I mean, it still looks good, but I'd rather the other version of just plain like really light gray wash. Yeah. And so it's just like, it's just a mistake I made thinking it would look good because I can't memorize how dark and light my colors are. So, yeah. So then I do the eye. She looks really mad right now because that almost looks like a, like a down like, eh. <laughs> Maybe you look like right there. No, I don't, I don't think yeah, so. she just does. And every time I draw eyebrows, I always start with like these like little flakes, like how you would like eyebrow. <laughs> And then you go off, and then I go off of it and just like make it bulkier and fill it in because they don't give eyebrows color. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes like I can't see my sketch when I've done the watercolor. Most of the time I can, but sometimes I can't. Like on the brown I couldn't as well, but I could still see it. So I either eyeball it or I freak out and I redraw that part over it with the pencil again. So that's really fun. I love it. I love it. And then eyes just apparently become uneven in art. It's a thing you're gonna have to live through. It's it's a midlife crisis, but it's okay. You don't need any more crises on FX. <laughs> <laughs> No one's gonna get that joke because they're watching on and they probably don't watch the flash. Ayo! Oh, I was about to be like, Ayo, it's done. No, it's not. You need the little teeny. <laughs> now you're done. So, is this the final version or do you think you'll I'll review probably... it and touch it up again and kind of do another version and? Well, I'm pretty, this, I really like this version. It's probably the final version. Um, I definitely like the hair and I like, like the clothing options I chose for her. Um, but I think the shorts would just be like a really light gray wash instead of the pockets. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe the green would, I think the green would probably be like more lighter and like lime greenish. Um, like really like a lighter color. But other than that, I like it a lot. So it's just like kind of like color correction mistakes. So. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining me while I do this character that doesn't have a name. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.